Hey you guys, welcome back. So today I'm just going to show you guys how I install my clip-ins and make them blend with my hair. And I just have some twists. I got twists all over the place. Okay, but the ones pinned up is where I'm going to pin the clip-ins on. But the ones that are loose is my leave-out. Okay, so the clip-ins I have in this video is by Better Length. And this is a texture kinky curly and it's 18 inches. And although um, I'm showing you two packs of the hair, it's honestly one bundle. The whole thing is just one bundle. They only sent me one bundle and I was like, dang, like hopefully that's enough, you know. But I kept hearing it was. And surprisingly, it was, y'all. I did not need two bundles. One bundle was more than enough. I actually had like, I think two pieces left over. And one bundle, you get 10 pieces. And that's really it. But the hair is really good quality. I dyed it twice and I'm going to explain that in the end. And it's not dry at all. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have all the details about this hair in the description box below. So this time I tried the flat twist method for installing the clip-ins because I just feel like it will make it blend better, at least for me because my hair is short. So um, yeah, I feel like this method is so much easier, it's less of a hassle, like the only part you gotta worry about blending is the top, and that's not really that bad. It's not as bad as like you gotta worry about the whole head blending. So this method is definitely good for those who like feel like it's kind of hard to match their hair to the clip-ins. Okay, and for the twist that I'm unraveling right now on my real hair, for this this side, like this twist and the other two twists I'm unraveling right now, I use the TGIN Daily Moisturizer Cream, I think that's what it's called, and then the other side I use TGIN Twist and Define Cream. I wanted to test both of them out on my hair, so that's why I use two different ones, but yeah, that's really it. I just wanted to include it because I know somebody might ask, and I just wanted to already, you know, have it in the video. Alright, so the hair is cute or whatever, but the left side is killing me. Like, I cannot get it to blend for the life of me. Not that side that I'm working on right now, the other side that's like, just poking out. So what I did was just take the hair, just wrap it, and then pin it up. Because, I, yeah, see, you cannot be out here and your hair not blending. Like, that just doesn't make sense. So, I just have to do that. And I'm sure if someone is wondering, Karen, why didn't you just twist your hair with the clip-ins? It's because I didn't feel like sleeping with no clip-ins in my hair. That's why I didn't do it. Just to answer your question. I know somebody thinking that. But yeah, I just didn't feel like sleeping with clip-ins in my hair. But maybe I'll try it one day, but not today. This actually came out pretty bomb. And I'm really shocked because I'm not good with clip-ins. Like, it's hard for me. I struggle a lot. But anyway, I have another video with this hair coming out soon. So be on the lookout. And yeah. Okay, guys. And that's it for the video. I wanted to tell you guys about the color real quick because I didn't I didn't film how I dyed the hair this color. So anyway, what I did was I had a box of, I think, Clairol Texture and Tones. It was Flaming Desire. I'll insert a picture right here. And 
and the color didn't take that well. I think it was the box dye. The box dye was, it wasn't acting right. So then after that, I waited a few days and I bleached the hair. I used 30 volume develop. I used 30 volume developer and you know bleaching powder and I did not let the bleach sit long because since the hair was already lifted I didn't want it to get super light so um I just let it sit for maybe like a minute like right after I was done applying the bleach all over the hair because the hair started turning really really fast so I, once I was done applying the bleach all over the hair I immediately rinsed it out and it became this color and it was really hard to dye this hair a color to match my hair because as you guys know my hair is not a certain color this is the color that was underneath my red hair so this is how that looks and um yeah i feel like i did a pretty good job blending it let me know what you guys think i definitely try so let me know what you guys think about this hair and you guys can see the hair is actually good quality because it held up with dye and bleach y'all i actually like it the hair is pretty cool and the hair right now i just having some curl keeper leave-in and that's really it all right and that's it i really hope you guys enjoyed my video let me know what you guys think down below and thank you so much for watching i'll see y'all soon bye